Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's been a really long time since I've filmed a video. I'm sorry. Um, I've just had life going on and Jeffree products are really expensive. Makeup in general is really expensive. Inflation, blah, blah, blah. It's been a while and for that, I'm sorry. As with any Jeffree video, let me put this disclaimer out there. This is about the makeup, not the person. And if you leave me any hate comments, you will be blocked. Sorry, this is a drama free space. I'm not here to listen to your opinions about people. I'm here to talk about makeup. And today's video in general is about this big old red vault that came out with that pink religion palette and I just got it and I am so so excited because if you knew me like literally nine years ago when I was in high school eh, nine to twelve years ago when I was in high school I wore a really thick winged liner every single day and I wore either a neon neon pink lipstick close to prom night um which is right there or i wore a really 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 bright red close to red rum um every single day um it was a berry m lipstick and a red lipstick i don't know the name it was probably ruby woo from mac but don't quote me on that so I'm just really excited because obviously I am a lover of makeup and I am a lover of red and pink lipstick. Yay! So without further ado, my lips are going to hate me after this video, but I needed to do it this week before I go blonde again, which is my natural hair color. Just my hair color turned a little brown. I'm still on the blonde spectrum, but I'm getting highlights. So. I wanted to wear a black shirt just like my original video. The lighting is exactly the same as my first video. I'm still filming on my phone and I have not changed anything. I wanted to make this as close to the other video as possible. So let's get into all of the shades in this. And as always, like my last video, I will leave a little asterisk and all the shade names in the comments so that you can see which ones are exclusives and which ones are part of his permanent line. And I will also try to leave all my makeup details in the comments. I'm really, really bad about doing that. But when I rewatch my videos, I'm like, dang, I looked good. What am I wearing? And then I don't know because I didn't put it in the comments. So if you're like me and you wanna know what's on my face, I'm gonna leave it down there for you. Um, let's go get into the video. This is the longest intro ever, I'm sorry. I don't know why I said it came out with the pink religion. I think I just associated it with that. This is the blood sugar liquid lipstick vault. It came out with blood sugar um, when he did that fifth anniversary, which I didn't get. Sorry, I didn't get it. And I also got the little mini blood sugar palette that I need to do a video on. Maybe that will be next, who knows? So we have five shades in each row and there's 25 lipsticks in here because five times five is 25. And uh, we're gonna start with the pinks up here and work our way over, 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 over. Um, lightest to darkest, as always, I'm gonna speed up the application process and I will show you the name, the swatch of it on the back of my hand and the swatch of my lips. I'm gonna try to do these lip swatches as even as possible, but I do have like a cut right here in my like part of my lip that I've been putting um, like vegan lip balm on and it's just taking a little bit to heal up. It's been a few days. So I've been trying to leave it alone. So if I don't do the corners, that's why, sorry, you'll get the idea of what it looks so like. The first color is Bubblegum, which is kind of like Queen Supreme to me, but it's a little bit more pink. Um, so I don't think this is gonna look good on me, but we will see. So that is what she looks like. a 
second to dry down. For the record, I'm not aiming for perfection with these. I just want to get them on my lips to show you what they look like. So this is one you might want to do two coats on. On camera, it looks very pigmented, um, but up close in real life, you can kind of see the lines in my lips. Um, and for the record, I have been putting lip balm on for like four days to get ready for this video. I also have drank my gallon of water for the day. Um, but this is what bubble gum looks like. It does make my teeth look a little yellow, but not too bad. Like not as bad as Queen Supreme does, but this is the shade bubble gum. Next up is Romeo. I remember this coming out as a color. I don't know if it was limited edition or not. I'll have to look that up. But Romeo is just a gorgeous, gorgeous, like hot pink. But it has like a little bit of like magenta to it. Like a little bit of plum. This one's also just the tiniest bit streaky. Like that top lip could have probably I caught probably could have dunked it back in this one dried down faster so that is the shade Romeo teeth check looks good I like this color on me next is the shade cavity and cavity kind of looks like Queen Supreme's older sister but like way more bright it looks like queen supreme but brighter and more purpley purpler pur purplier i had a color in high school that looked like this i don't know if it was by revlon or if it was by mac but i had a color that looked like this, but like a little bit more purplier, and I rocked that. Um, <laughs> I remember going to high school and college with purple lipstick on and people would stare at me like I was crazy. And I remember when Melt Cosmetics came out with that dark, dark blue shade and I wore that to college at least once a week and people would just stare at me. <laughs> um, but this is the color Cavity. This one also dried down really nicely. Um, obviously with any Jeffries, um, like brighter shades, you're gonna be able to see the little cracks on your lips. But I just have dry skin and dry lips, so maybe that's just my life. And I don't know when this video is going up because I have to edit it and I'm currently getting back into a gym schedule. So who knows how late I'll stay up and edit this. But I just ordered my camera to shoot YouTube videos on. So this might be the last phone video that I do unless I have one um, after this. This one was kind of opened. Um, this is Queen Supreme. And I do need to buy a stand. Um, I have the nude vault that's empty up there, but I have all of them on the stand. I do need to buy a Jeffree stand for the red one. I didn't want to keep them in the vault because they're hard to take out. And then it would have to stay open on my little display. That dried down almost instantly, dude. But Queen Supreme is one of his old shades, and I think I have this in full size. I think I do. This is not my shade. <laughs> it makes my teeth look really, really yellow. But it's gorgeous. It's a statement for spring. This is Queen Supreme. I'm going to show you the swatches of all of the five shades in the row so you can see them up close and next to each other. This is Diva and I remember when this came out. This looks a little bit more purple than Romeo 
So Romeo's right there and Diva's right there. And Romeo just looks like more corally pink and this looks more like a true hot, hot pink with a hint of magenta. Clearly this box had a theme, if you can't tell. It was like purples, magentas, and reds. Which, the purples obviously like had a theme, like a little bit purple, a little magenta, a little this. But I'm really curious to see how the reds play out. Like the third, the fourth row looks exactly the same to me. So I'm really curious to swatch those. This one dried down really fast. I forgot how fast they are. Um, that is the shade Diva. My teeth look great. Um, and this is all five shades of the first row dried down. Feel free to pause this if you want. We are now starting with the second row and the first shade is actually one I own and it is one of my most worn shades, like top five. This is Doll Parts. Doll Parts is like a true pink rose and it is just absolutely gorgeous. It's kind of like a mauve pink. And it kind of is that perfect Barbie pink. Ooh, that it looks brighter than I remember. This one does take a little bit longer to dry down, I remember. Okay, that is dry. That is the shade Doll Parts. color of the second row is Sweet Tooth. This reminds me, I'm sorry for saying this over and over, it reminds me of a more purple version of Queen Supreme. I'm curious why this wasn't in the top row and why it was in the second one, but nonetheless. These feel really loose, like almost like they're not closed all the way, but I don't, I don't know. It could be the way I'm taking it out of the package because when I close it, I can hear it click. And if you hear that loud noise in the background, that's my washer machine, I'm sorry. This one dried down really, really fast. Again, it's gonna show the texture, like the lines in your lips. This is the color Sweet Tooth. A little, little, little tiny yellow in person, but not too bad. It's not terrible. I don't know if I showed you that second swatch, but this is the third shade Sugar Spike next to Sweet Tooth. That's a terrible swatch. This one kind of reminds me of like a dark version of Doll Parts, but we will see. See, I feel like that looks exactly the same. Okay, well, now that it's on my lips, it doesn't look the same. And so Doll Parts is a little more mauve -er, and this one's a little more magenta -er. Magenta. I love the, all these words I'm creating. This is the color Sugar Spike. Teeth check, they look great. They're really white. Next color is called Candy Joint, and I'm really curious why he put a dark, dark shade like this. Um, it's close to Doll Parts, but it's darker than Deceased, if you have that color. Um, I think that's the name of it. Um, I'm really curious about this one. This is Candy Joint. This is the fourth shade in the second row. Ooh, I kind of love that. I'm gonna let that dry down and I'm gonna get deceased out of my uh, Jeffrey lips. Just to compare, 
this one in regular packaging is deceased and this one is Sagittarius and I want to swatch them above and below this because I'm curious to see what the color difference is, if any. So I'm going to put deceased on the top and Sagittarius on the bottom. Sagittarius and deceased are so similar. Okay, so the difference is that this is more pink and you can kind of see it now that it's on the back of my hand. So that's deceased and that's Sagittarius. And then that shade is Candy Joint. So Candy Joint it definitely has more mauve and more pink in it. I love this, but I also love these two colors during fall with like a gray smoky eye with like a white glitter on the lid and a winged eyeliner. It's just like timeless to me. Um, but this is probably going to be one of my most worn shades. I love this. It kind of looks like my lips, but like pinkier and better, if that makes any sense. This one is a little sticky. And when I say sticky, I mean the kind of like liquid lipstick texture that when you push your lips together, it sticks. Like that. Um, but this is the shade Candy Joint. next shade is one of the very first shades that Jeffree ever launched. So if you were around when Jeffree launched Jeffree Star Cosmetics, he originally launched three liquid lipsticks. He launched Prom Night, Red Rum, and I'm Royalty. Um, Prom Night was obviously the brightest like neon pink. I'm Royalty was the darkest purple. And the red one was Red Rum. Um, I'm really shocked he didn't include I'm Royalty in this, but I can't remember if he discontinued that. Um, this is a staple in my collection. I have gone through at least three tubes of this, um, and I just love this kind of color. So this is Prom Night, and you're going to see when she gets on the back of my hand. She is neon. She does not come to play. Should I say more? I feel like makeup makes me more dramatic in person. I am not this extra. I am like really not. I'm, I'm not shy, but I'm not quiet. I'm kind of loud when I talk. Um, this is the shade Prom Night and it dries down like instant, kind of like the other ones. I'm sorry, just keep repeating that. It passes the teeth check and just vibes. Vibes, like this shade, this shade, Yep, top five, top 10. So this is all five shades in the second row along with Deceased and Sagittarius for comparison. We're moving into the third row, which is a mixture of pinks and reds, kind of like pinky reds. So the first color is Prick. I'm gonna shake this up because it looks kind of like empty or not, not settled. Do you see that? It doesn't look full. I know Prick is a red-orange. This color is way more orange than I expected. This is the shade Prick. It passes the teeth check surprisingly for being so yellow based red, but I do feel like this tube is like empty. It has a bunch of bubbles in it, even with shaking it. This is the shade Firestarter, which just looks like prick, but a little bit more red. Ooh, okay, they swatch like exactly the same. Um, if anything, I'd say Firestarter is a little bit more coral. That's Firestarter. That's Prick. Do you see that? Maybe Prick is more coral. My brain hurts. It 
If I can figure out how to edit both of these next to each other, I will so I can see the difference. But this looks just like the hint is more red on my lips than Prick did, in my opinion. So this is the color Fire Starter. Passes the teeth check. I'm curious to see this one on the lips, which I say with like all of these shades. This reminds me of Prom Night, so I'm kind of curious to see what it looks like on the lips. At this point, my lips are tingling. See, to me, this looks like Prom Night, just not as... Looks like Prom Night with a hint of red in it and not as neon. Which, I mean, Jeffrey is kind of genius, in my opinion, for making so many shades like this. Because even if you add, like, the hintest little bit of purple or the little bit of red, it's a different color. And that's kind of the beauty with art, kind of like painting. When you add in different shades and different undertones, you make a whole new color. And if I was Jeffrey and I owned like a multi-million dollar makeup line, why not make the new shades, add a new name on it and sell it? Cause people will buy it. This is the shade Pink Veins. It does pass the teeth check and it looks gorgeous. Now that I'm getting like deeper into this and almost done, I'm like halfway through literally. I'm curious as to how much wear I'm actually gonna get out of these shades. Like I know I can't wear this kind of color or pretty much any of these colors. I could probably get away with candy joint at work. Maybe doll parts if I wear it when my boss wasn't there but I'm curious how much wear am I actually gonna get out of this $160 set. This I can't remember if I own, but I know it was on my wish list forever, which is sad because I literally just filmed a, a video um, last year, the year before of all my Jeffree lipsticks. This is Cherry Wet, which is just the most gorgeous mix of pink and red. I'm pretty sure I own this. And if I remember correctly, it transfers like nobody's business. It's just so pretty. This is like the perfect mix of red and pink. And it is like blue tone. So it makes your teeth look insanely white. This reminds me... I had two Milani lipsticks in college that were in the gold packaging. I think they were called color icons or something like that. And I had a really bright pink one like prom night and I had a mix of a red and pink and I wore those two lipsticks almost every day in college or like at least during spring and summer. This is what this reminds me of. And I like this, it is sticky. The other ones haven't been so sticky and it does have a little bit of transfer, but not, not that much. So this is the shade Cherry Wet. This one you're really going to see in the swatch. Cherry Soda is next and it looks just a hint more red than Cherry Wet. Cherry Wet kind of looks magenta in the back in the box and I think what's throwing a lot of these colors off for me is the red background. The red background is making it look just it's throwing the colors off. So this is Cherry Soda all the way over there. That was a bad application, I'm sorry. This is a lot more brighter than I expected. This one's not sticky. This is Cherry Soda. This is really comfortable on my lips. It's not sticky. It is a pretty shade. Um, not, I like Cherry Wet more. This is the shade Cherry Soda. This is 
all five of the third row is Sucker Punch, which this looks like, again, it has holes in it. It doesn't look empty, but it kind of does. Um, this looks just like a really bright red, like an, like a yellow based bright red. Okay, I was wrong. See, the red packaging is just throwing me off. This looks like a cherry wine red. Like a blue based dark red. Does that make sense? Oh my God, it's beautiful. This one is not sticky. It does look a little empty. This is the color Sucker Punch. This is the first color in the fourth row. I kind of wish the colors I had in my collection I didn't have to swatch but then that would be pointless of this video because this video is to show you what all of them look like on my really 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 fair skin. Um, this is the color Red Rum which is one of the originals he launched. It is just a bright blue based red but it's kind of in the middle. And eh, just kidding it's, it's blue. To me, this is like the darker version of the darker version of Ruby Woo in a liquid lipstick formula. This is the color Red Rum. Again, it has the holes in it. I don't know if that's the way they lay in the packaging, but shaking it up doesn't really do anything. This is the color Red Rum dried down. This makes your teeth look so good. Now I'm having like an epiphany. Um, I can't remember if it's Cherry Wet or Wifey that I own that doesn't dry down. But this is Wifey. I'm like 98% sure I own this color. She's just darker than Red Rum. A little bit more like Unicorn Bloody. Which I'm so glad Unicorn Blood is in this the third color in the fifth row I'm out of it so this gives me like unicorn blood vibes but like a little bit more red a little bit less dark purpley brown I had to look because it was bucking me I do own cherry wet and I do own wifey I think it's rich blood that I'm thinking of that doesn't dry down all the way but this is the color Wifey. And I don't know why, but compared to the other ones, Wifey has a huge font. I, won't, I don't know if that's because it's one word. Because like prick is one word and it has tiny font. Can you see that? Why is it so big? I don't, I don't know. But this is the color Wifey. Fourth color in the fourth row is Heart Rate. These, like I said in the beginning, look so similar. It looks like a more red version of Wifey. So this is the color Heart Rate. shade in the fourth row is heartbeat heart rate heartbeat okay we're going with the blood sugar vibe this looks so similar heart rate heartbeat okay this is kind of like fire starter and prick i don't know if i see a difference to be honest if I can figure out how to put them side by side, I'm gonna. Um, this is the color Heartbeat. This is all five shades of the fourth row. 
first color of the fifth row is pink house this looks like a dark purple and it is it is a dark purple that is a really bad application i'm sorry I find that Jeffree's liquid lipsticks get like a little darker when they dry. I don't know if that's with every liquid lipstick because I mostly have Jeffree. Um, this is the color Pink House. For being a more purple magenta shade, my teeth look great in real life. Next is Forbidden Fruit. This looks like that shade with more red in it which it kind of just looks like a darker version. Ooh, I love that. I think. If I can apply it without getting it all over my face. Color Forbidden Fruit. Next is an oldie but a goodie. One of my top fives, this is Unicorn Blood. This is dark, I'm not gonna lie. Kinda like dark, dark purple brown vibes and it is gorgeous for fall. If the other shade smelled like root beer, I didn't smell it, but I know from owning this one that this one is root beer scented and I smelt it as soon as I put it on my lips. This is Unicorn Blood. Crappy application. Teeth look great in it. It's just fall vibes. I get the last shade. This is Bite My Tongue, which looks just like unicorn blood with a little bit more purple. So this is Bite My Tongue. shade in this collection lip vault is misery which looks like a very very dark 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 version of unicorn blood i don't own any color this dark like unicorn blood is as dark as i go because i'm so fair The shade Misery. This is a, a little sticky, but not too sticky. These are the last five shades in the fifth row of the vault. I wanna go through this and talk about my favorite shades and shades that I don't really know if this vault needed or really similar shades. So my favorite shade out of the first row would have to be Romeo. I think it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous pink and it was on my wish list for quite some time. Second row, Doll Parts, I already own. It's one of my favorite mauve pink shades, but I really loved this color candy joint, which remind me of Deceased and Sagittarius. I cannot wait to wear that to work. Third row, I thought Prick, while an interesting color, looked great on me. And I really, really, really love the color Cherry Wet. I cannot wait to get so much use out of this. This is one of those shades that I would gravitate towards more in spring and summer than fall because it is a little bit more pinky red, but it's gorgeous nonetheless. Throw, if I had to pick a favorite, it would be Sucker Punch, which is the first color. I thought this like red was very unique and it looked great on me oldie bit of goodie out of the fifth row is unicorn blood but if i had to pick a favorite it would probably be forbidden fruit i thought this was a really unique shade now colors in this vault collection that i really don't think we needed were um a lot of these purples honestly i wish that he would have done like 
lighter pinks than this that didn't have the purple tint to them um for this like queen supreme cavity sweet tooth i really don't think it needed um i think you could replace those with kind of lighter colors like bubblegum but not that light like a mixture in between prom night and bubblegum is what i think i'm missing from this which you could argue is candy joint but candy joint has a little bit of gray to it um this is really hard to hold open um i thought as far as similar shades sweet tooth and queen supreme were really really similar prick and fire starter i'm gonna run back side to side if i can figure it out i really don't really see the difference in these um heartbeat and heart rate again didn't really see the difference um and i do kind of want to run the last row through side by side to see what they looked like but overall i'm really really happy with this um i think i'd get more rare wear out of the red one than the nude one i kind of go towards chrysanthemum and um mannequin and i'm nude and that is kind of like the gist of the like nude colors i wear because a lot of them i thought were unflattering on me but a lot of you have left me so much love on that video and thank you from the bottom of my heart i love reading comments in general but then when people comment and tell me i look good or tell me that a color looked good on me it just warms my heart and that just made me so happy and it kind of encouraged me to want to buy this and make a video on it but i also just wanted to buy it to have all these shades i definitely think the first three rows i will get more wear out of during spring and summer and the last two rows i will get more wear out of during winter and fall because i do kind of gravitate towards these darker colors i am really shocked that this color misery the last color in the vault that's on my lips is just this gorgeous like i'm in awe i just i don't know what to say besides the like missing of that color between bubblegum and prom night i think jeffrey did a really really good job with this vault the colors that i don't know if we needed were firestarter and heartbeat and queen supreme and sweet tooth uh but that is just my personal opinion i would love to know if you picked this up or what your thoughts were on it did you pick it up what did you think of it if you didn't pick it up why not is it because it was 160 dollars, which is ridiculous for lipstick um although i will say i loved these tiny little containers they're great to put in your bag and go it does tell you the ingredients the colors on the back and it tells you to shake well before use it doesn't tell you which ones were a limited edition though that's what the back of it looks like um anyways i hope you guys have a great day thank you so much for watching this i'm sorry if this felt rushed i was filming it after work i have to go to bed at 8 30 to go in the go to the gym i wake up at like 4 30 in the morning I'm, I'm getting in a routine and it's great. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Please like this video if you liked it and leave me a comment and let me know what your thoughts were on this blood sugar vault, if you picked it up or not. Bye.